When two tectonic plates shift towards each other, this forms a convergent plate boundary. These plates continue to push up against each other. Like a car crash, these plates crumble under the pressure and give in. Both of these plates fold as they are similar densities, however this wouldn't occur if they were two different densities. We see this in examples of the Himalayan mountains. The Himalayan mountains is a, is a very large mountain range which is the tallest in the world. So roughly, the layers will start to be put under some stress. As you can see, that's almost off. This will also happen on another side. Okay, so we now have two sides that are under a lot of stress. And then, faults and cracks develop in the layers and the central part is now exposed. The third stage is the subsidence of the steep sides. So here, if we have our land, it starts to slowly slip. So if I hold this up closer, it will start to slowly slip and this will result in the two parts of land being higher than the other, thus creating a rift valley. When a volcano is forming, lava flows from the volcano's throat. Depending on the viscosity of the lava, the volcano can form in different shapes. Dome mountains form very steep, as the lava that flows out is very viscous and slow, meaning it dries quickly and doesn't travel very far. This leaves the shape and size of the dome mountain as a dome. An example of this would be the Adridian Dak Mountains of New York State. 